as warehouses, big box stores, and farms. This proved to be the right approach. For instance, our big box blitz saw compliance with public health guidelines increase by almost 19% over the course of three weeks. Our warehouse and distribution centre blitz in Peel Region found 57% of these businesses were in compliance, but more needed to be done when it came to workplace safety plans, screening and masking. And in Toronto, we are working with local public health officials to tackle the hot spots that they are seeing. I'm pleased to say we are making progress. Employers are learning, improving and stepping up. Since the start of this year, over 11,800 workplace inspections have been completed and over 9,400 orders and 370 tickets have been issued. Each visit we make is one more step towards making our workplaces safety, safer. As we continue to move forward, we're increasing our efforts. On Monday, more than 100 new occupational health and safety inspectors started their training. They are learning the ropes now and will be in the field in the weeks ahead. I'm proud to say this will make our team of inspectors the largest it's ever been. I come from a small business, a family business background. I understand the duty these owners feel toward their team and the pressure on them to keep their doors open. That pressure is especially felt by local shops, restaurants and salons, which often operate on razor thin margins. It's obvious that they need our support to safely reopen and stay open. So that's what we're giving them. Last month, I announced an education campaign to help reopening small shops understand their health and safety responsibilities. So far, more than 1,000 merchants in Eastern Ontario, Durham and Wellington, Dufferin, Guelph received in-person educational support and guidance. We went to their place of work with a customer service approach. We reviewed with them the COVID-19 safety requirements for operating in their community. We answered their questions, provided them with resources and helped them get it right. And if they needed to do more, we'll be back in the coming weeks to ensure they've updated their protocols. Next, we'll be in York Region, Windsor, Essex and Waterloo Region, helping small businesses get up to speed. Remember, we have a dedicated phone line for questions at 1-888-444-3659. When it comes to battling COVID-19, I believe our team is a shining example of government offering a helping hand. We know small businesses need guidance to operate safely, so we're showing up to help them. We know workers don't always feel comfortable speaking up when their employers aren't being safe, so we're showing up to help them. And we know people are tired of this pandemic and need reminders on how to protect themselves when they're off the clock, so we're showing up to help them. And make no mistake, we'll keep showing up as long as people need help. Thanks and stay safe, everyone. Go to the phones for questions. First question, please. As a reminder, please press star one if you have any questions. First question is from Randy Rath at CHCHTV. Please go ahead. Yeah, hi, Minister. Um, I, can you hear me? I can, Randy. How are you? Yeah, okay, sorry. It's just the new phone is still giving me problems. I mean, I'm wondering about paid sick days. Um, uh, you're having a whole bunch of new PSWs. Um, if this pandemic has taught us anything, is the value of paid sick days in helping people, in, a, in helping people not get sick in the workplace? Um, can you ensure that the, the, all of the PSWs that you're hiring will go going forward after COVID be given paid sick days? Well, I'm proud to say uh, the premier, with Minister Fullerton, announced a 115 million dollar investment to hire. Uh, 8,000 uh, PSWs. This is uh, long overdue uh, because of the neglect uh, under the previous government. Uh, I can tell you what we've done to keep workers safe uh, in this province during uh, COVID-19. Uh, the very first uh, action item uh, that we took that we uh, brought in when COVID-19 uh, hit Ontario, that was job protected leave. If any worker across the province uh, is impacted by COVID-19, if they're 
in self-isolation, in quarantine, if you're a mom or a dad that has to stay home and look after a son or a daughter because the schools are closed, you can't be fired for that. Uh, we also eliminated the need uh, for sick notes during COVID-19. Uh, furthermore, I'm proud to say by working with the federal government, we've been able to deliver $1.1 billion in uh, paid sick days for workers uh, across the province. And Randy, as of this morning, uh, I can report to you that more than 245,000 workers in Ontario are now receiving uh, paid sick days through the federal program uh, or have applied uh, for paid sick days. Uh, there's over $700 million left uh, in the bank and we'll continue to advocate to make this uh, program uh, stronger. But it's up to every elected official uh, in Ontario and across Canada to let workers know that there's four weeks of paid sick days for them available. Follow up. Well, that's nice, but it didn't come close to answering my question. What I'm asking is, going forward after COVID is over, will workers in this province be given paid sick days to keep everybody safe? And if not, why not? What does your government have against giving workers paid sick days? Look, we've gone farther than what the former uh, government did. I mean, if the former government was still in power during COVID-19, there would be two paid sick days for workers. Uh, we've been able to deliver by working together with the federal government uh, one month of, of paid sick days uh, for workers. Uh, we had a uh, uh, meeting of all the provincial and territorial uh, leaders uh, this week, uh, labour ministers, I'm sorry, from uh, across the country, and we continue to advocate uh, for paid sick days on behalf of workers. And uh, I'm proud to say now, uh, at this point, 80% uh, of that federal program is uh, being paid out uh, within uh, three to five days directly deposited into workers' bank accounts. So we're going to continue to battle uh, COVID-19. Let's get through uh, this uh, crisis that we're in and um, we'll continue to ensure that there's uh, paid sick days during COVID-19. Next question. From James Chirani at Caledon Enterprise. Please go ahead. Hi, Minister. Um, I um, have a question. So um, I know Brampton, they've had an active outbreak at a distribution workplace that's been ongoing since October 15th of last year. So that's going on 20 weeks now. Um, and they've had 339 cases total as of last Friday. Um, and there were 23 new cases there in last week alone. I'm, I'm, I'm just wondering how, how can an outbreak like this, um, even after the, the blitz that had recently happened, how can it go on for so long with so many cases? Well, look, my message to uh, every single uh, business owner out there, to every manager and supervisor, uh, everyone has to be doing more uh, at this point than at any point uh, since COVID-19 has hit the province. You have to be more vigilant today than at uh, any point. Uh, as a ministry, uh, our inspectors went into more than 200 uh, distribution centers and warehouses uh, in the Peel region. Uh, we're continuing to uh, go back and do follow-up visits and, and to visit ones that we haven't uh, been through uh, before. But every uh, employer out there knows what they need to do. Uh, we encourage uh, all employers, uh, managers, supervisors, and workers to visit our website, ontario.ca forward slash COVID safety. We've put on uh, that website more than 200 resources to help everyone understand what they need to do to keep COVID-19 uh, out of workplaces. Uh, including uh, posters and tip sheets and videos in multiple languages uh, so every uh, person knows what they need need to be doing. Follow up? Yeah, I, I, I guess look, looking at, at the, these type of workplaces and looking at, because I've been watching this outbreak for, for a few months now um, and just watching the cases rise. I mean, is it, uh, I, I mean, is it, is a place like this continuing to run because they're following protocols and everything um, is seemingly safe for the workers? Or I, I'm just trying to get a better idea of how of, of how this has lasted for so long. Yeah, I, I can't speak to uh, this specific um, case that you're referring to. I, I can tell you that our ministry has a number of ongoing uh, investigations in, in different types of workplaces. Uh, I can uh, say that uh, as of uh, today, uh, we've done more than 40,000 workplace uh, inspections uh, during COVID-19. We've 
uh, now shut down 69 unsafe uh, workplaces and, and job sites, uh, including about 15 uh, since January the 1st. And one of the other things um, that our inspectors are now empowered to do is issue tickets uh, on the spot to uh, business owners, to managers and supervisors uh, who aren't following uh, the rules. And uh, to date, since January, we've done uh, almost 400 of these uh, tickets. They can range from you know, 750 up to uh, $1,000. But big corporations know uh, the seriousness of uh, violating the rules and uh, breaking the uh, rules and law under the Occupational Health and Safety Act. I mean, uh, it's very serious. Um, there can be fines up to $1.5 million and uh, more of those uh, investigations are continuing now. Next question. From Van Eppel at 570 News. Please go ahead. Good afternoon, Minister McNaughton. Uh, Good last time you were in Waterloo Region, we saw just over half compliance here. Are you going to be going back to those same businesses this time around? And how many officers will be enforcing here in the region? Yeah, we're continuing uh, every single day with literally hundreds of uh, inspectors in all communities uh, across the province. I'm uh, proud to say that our 100 new inspectors uh, are in training uh, this week and literally within uh, a matter of uh, weeks are going to be uh, in the field uh, going out to workplaces uh, across the province. Uh, again, my message is uh, clear to every business. You know what you need to be doing. Step up. Uh, we're here to support uh, those small businesses who are transitioning uh, to reopening or who have uh, recently reopened. And uh, we're there with an educational campaign and then doing follow-up uh, inspections. But specifically in the Waterloo region, uh, I can tell you that there will be inspectors uh, back there to do follow-up visits of many of those businesses. Follow-up? Okay. Uh, just specifically for the clarification then about the ability to issue tickets on the spot, is that new from the last time officers visited here in the region? I believe we did that inspection blitz uh, since January. Um, the new tools that the Ministry of Labour inspectors have and other provincial offences officers uh, include issuing tickets on the spot. That started uh, in early January. Um, and again, we've done about 400 of these uh, tickets to uh, corporations, to business owners, to supervisors and managers uh, since the new year uh, started. Uh, we're finding that uh, many of the violations that are a recurring theme include uh, businesses not pre-screening uh, workers and customers entering uh, businesses, uh, as well as masking protocols in some cases aren't being followed and social distancing not happening. Next question. From Sarah Moitahazade at Toronto Star. Please go ahead. Minister, I'm um, also follow up on uh, the question from my colleague at uh, the Caledon Enterprise. Um, the Peel Public Health data shows that uh, amongst the warehouse outbreaks, it's really a, a small number of warehouses with massive outbreaks. And so I'm wondering if you can tell us a little bit more about what kind of penalties the ministry has imposed on these kinds of employers, um, particularly through this inspection blitz. Um, um, how many tickets? Uh, and uh, were issued to warehousing employers in the course of those inspections? Yeah, certainly. I mean, we've worked with uh, local public health units to determine which businesses uh, the Ministry of Labour inspectors are going uh, into. Uh, in the month of February, uh, in the Peel region alone, we visited 208 uh, warehouses and distribution centres. We're continuing to uh, be in Peel region every single day with uh, inspectors to uh, improve health and safety conditions for workers. Uh, I referenced earlier that we launched a Stay Safe All Day campaign. Um, this was really aimed at where we're seeing spread in workplaces, including warehouses and distribution centers, where you know workers were spreading this uh, virus uh, over a cup of coffee or in lunchrooms or in work vehicles. So we're really focusing in on where we're finding uh, uh, the problems. Um, as I said, we've uh, issued about 400 tickets, ranging from $750 to $1,000. Those are the uh, tickets and fines that are issued uh, on the spot. Uh, but we do have other investigations going on that take uh, some time. Uh, but those uh, fines can be as serious as $1.5 million. Follow-up? Well, I'm just, just to sort of press on this point of 
um, of, of penalties. I mean, we know that some of the distribution centers based in the Peel region include major employers like Amazon, um, and obviously because, you know, employers with large outbreaks aren't necessarily being named. We don't know whether Amazon is one of these employers with, with, uh, with large caseloads. But for an employer like Amazon, is $1,000 really a deterrent to, to, you know, prevent cases from happening? Look, absolutely not. But we've shut down nearly 70 uh, unsafe workplaces and, and job sites, and that hits uh, corporations where it counts in the pocketbook. And we're going to continue to uh, do everything necessary to prevent uh, the spread of COVID-19 uh, in workplaces. Uh, that's why we've uh, brought the total number of Ministry of Labour inspectors to the highest level in Ontario history. That's why we formed teams of hundreds of inspectors from uh, other government uh, ministries. Uh, specifically, I, I can tell you with uh, Amazon, we've been in there uh, 15 times, including uh, last month. We're continuing uh, every single day to go into warehouses, distribution centers. We're partnering with uh, local public health units to find out uh, where the cases are, and we're going to continue uh, every single day protecting the health and well being of people uh, until COVID 19 is gone. Seeing as there are no more questions, thank you everyone for joining. Thank you.